guys! Welcome sa aking channel! So, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking channel, please naman, mag-subscribe ka na! <laughs> so, para sa video natin ngayon, meron na naman tayong panibagong i-review at ito ang pinakabagong cosmetic line, which is the Blight Cosmetics. This is in collaboration with Andrea Brillantes, o mas kilala sa pangalan bilang Marga ng Kadenang Ginto. My God, Hindi ka muna papasok. You do not. You do not. The liar is my fake. <laughs> Panis. <laughs> so, eto guys. Nanalo tayo sa pag-giveaway ng Blind Cosmetics. And pinadala nila tayo ng buong collection nila. Which is known as the Hyper. Cosmic Collection. So, sobrang excited ako, guys. This is what the package looks like. As you can see, sobrang level up ng packaging nila. Ang lakas maka-color pop. Ang lakas maka-international ng packaging. So, thumbs up for the packaging pa lang. And, i-review natin. Makikita nyo yung first impression, review, as well as swatches ng lahat ng products ng Blight Cosmetics. So, sobrang excited ako, guys. Samahan nyo ako throughout this review. And, meron tayong pag-giveaway. So, magpapag-giveaway tayo later and i-announce ko yung mechanics at the end of the video. So, if you guys wanna know more about the Blight Cosmetics, please keep on watching. So, para sa first product na i-review natin, first off is the Perfect Brow Tio. So, meron siyang tatlong shade. And ito yung itsura ng packaging niya. Para sa shades, Graphite, Comet, and Meteor. Open natin yung first shade. This is the Graphite 213. So, this is what the packaging looks like. It's really nice. And I guess this is the gray shade. So, open natin. Okay. So, meron siyang brow mascara. As you can see, sobrang liit nung uh, bristles niya. So, magiging precise talaga yung application nito. But, let's see. So, on the other end, it has the pencil. So, yan. Ganito kadami yung makukuha yung product. In fairness, ang dami niyan, guys, ha? And, doon naman sa gitna, meron siyang powder, I believe. Uy, ang bongga niya. So, oh! Ayan, guys. Meron pa siyang powder. Ang bongga nito, ah. So, swatch natin. Ito yung pencil, ito yung powder, and ito yung swatch nung brow mascara niya. If you have a black hair, this one is really perfect. So, next we have Meteor. This is 211. I-swatch ko ulit, ah, Para lang may idea kayo. Sa color payoff niya. Meteor. Graphite. And Comet. So, as you can see, this is the light brown, grayish, as well as the dark brown, which is Comet. Now, try natin sa kilay ko si Graphite. So, yun yung tingin kong mas bagay sa akin since medyo grayish siya and I like my brows to look like grayish or parang medyo natural lang yung tone. Ayan, no? So nice, no? Sobrang girly and sobrang cute lang nung inspiration dito. Just gamitin po muna yung pencil. Outline ko lang, guys. Tagyahin natin yung kilay ni Andrea, which is parang very bushy. Ganong levels. Hindi siya ganon ka-waxy, which is nice, dun sa pencil. It glides easily sa aking kilay, and pigmented din po siya. So, sobrang sakto sa akin ng color ng graphite. Gagamitin ko naman yung powder niya, which is yun na dito. Yan pang fill-in ng mga kalbong areas ng kilay ko. Especially dito sa bandang and tail ng aking kilay. Ang cute! Sobrang travel-friendly nitong product na to. Siyempre, kailangan pa din natin ng spoolie, clean spoolie to blend everything out bago natin lagyan ng brow mascara or brow gel. Uy, ang ganda! Sobrang bet ko tong pang kilay na to, in fairness. Ayun, no! It looks really natural. As parang ang bilis ko lang nagkilay. So, gamitin natin yung other end, which is yung brow mascara. So, yan guys. Sobrang nipis nung brow mascara niya. Tumitingin ako dito guys kasi nandito yung salamin. So, 
ayan no, sobrang kuha niya yung hairs. Huwag lang kayo masyadong ma-overwhelm kasi medyo pigmented po siya. So, baka kumapal yung kilay nyo. So, since ina-achieve natin yung bushy, yung bushy boil look brow, ayan. Pinabrush ko siya upwards. OMG, ang nice! Tapos na akong magkilay. Sobrang nagustuhan ko siya. As in, see, it looks really natural. Tapos parang super well-groomed lang yung brows ko. And para sa akin, gustong-gusto ko yung brow mascara, yung brow powder, as well as yung pencil. Especially this shade, this graphite 213. Sobrang ganda niya. Sobrang natural niyang tignan, o. Oh. I love it. So, thumbs up for this one. Sobrang bet ko siya. Sobrang i-keep ko to. Ito na yung bago kong favorite na pang kilay. So far, hopefully, long-lasting siya. Next product, this is called the Face Palette. As you can see, sobrang liit niya lang. And the shade Twilight muna. This is in 3, 1, 2. This is what the packaging looks like. It has 7 grams. Tapos, 24 months cruelty and paraben free din siya. Ayan, naka-label naman siya dun sa likod ng packaging, which is good. So, pag-open mo, ooh! Ganyan siya, guys. So, first one is yung eyeshadow palette nila. I guess this is the neutral tones. Ayan siya. These are the shades. Meron tayong brown. May dalawang matte and then may dalawang shimmer sa baba. Tapos, as mo ng another layer, we have a decent size mirror and this one, this is the cream blush. I'm very excited to try this one. Kasi, di ba, medyo nauuso ngayon sa Pilipinas ang cream blush. Which is, patulad nung sa Sunny's face and sa color it. The packaging has two points. Good points! Ang ganda ng packaging kasi travel friendly. Pwede mo siyang gamitin pang kilay, pwede mo siyang gamitin pang highlighter, eyeshadow. And you have a blush for your eyes and lips. However, since ganito nga yung packaging niya, magkasama si blush at si cream, yung mga fallouts no uh, eyeshadow powder ay napupunta dito sa cream blush. Which is kung nakikita nyo, meron na agad siya dito. Ayun no. Meron na agad fallout. Pero okay lang din naman. You could just easily wipe it off with a tissue. Pero kung medyo maarte ka, baka hindi mo magustuhan yung ganitong klase ng packaging. Pero sa akin gusto ko to kasi nga, uh, madaling isiksik sa bag, travel friendly, and parang kahit ito lang, gora best ka na, diba? Na naman natin yung other shade, which is Eclipse. Ito naman yung itsura ng eyeshadow ng Eclipse. I guess this is for more neutral pa rin, pero mas deep yung shade, or pang mas perfect for night time. Then, ito naman yung blush niya. As you can see, mas dark yung blush nito compared dun sa isa. So, side by side natin sila. Ito po si Twilight and ito si Eclipse. Ayan. Daytime and nighttime. Tapos, further cream blush naman na ka-bundle or ka-partner. Meron tayong medyo orangey and mas dark. Mas nagme-makeup ka or mas umaalis ka. In daytime, ito na lang yung kunin mo. This is a really good set of eyeshadow. Yung colors, very neutral. Talagang magagamit mo siya. Pwede din siyang pang kilay. And this one, cute din yung shade niya. Orangey, peachy, ganyan. Pero kung mahilig ka naman mag-club and mag-party-party, ayan, mas perfect sa'yo tong shade na to. This is for nighttime. Bang eyeshadow mo, pang pack na pack na Gora Bells mong eyeshadow. And for your blush and lips, o ba Pack. So, magkasayo kayong masyadong mag-expect kasi hindi po ako magaling mag-eyeshadow. <laughs> Simple lang yung gagawin natin. Kumitin muna natin tong light brown. Powdery siya. Super. Ayan. Hindi ko siya masyadong inaano ha. Sakto lang po. Pero may mga powders. Though normal naman po. Oh, kita niyo yun? Normal naman po sa eyeshadow na powdery po siya. So, hindi naman siya ganun ka big deal. Gamitin lang natin siya dito sa ating crease. Para lang ma-warm yung ating crease. The color payoff, it's nice naman. It's pigmented as well. Iko-combine ko lang itong shade na to at itong shade na to. So, yan. Dito sa medyo outer corner po ng ating eyes. Doon ko lang siya ibiblend. Ito 
after yan, kuha tayo ng flat brush. Gamitin natin tong gold na shade. Ito. Yan, yung medyo peachy na shade, na shimmer. Dito sa uh, gitnang part ng lids ko. Ayan, nice naman. Kita nyo, guys. Hindi ako masyadong magaling mag-appreciate ng eyeshadow kasi hindi naman ako pala eyeshadow. As long as nakikita ko siya sa mata ko, ayun. Bet na yun. <laughs> Ayan. So far, so good. Maganda naman yung color payoff. Pigmented po siya. Madaling i-blend. Dito sa inner part, ang ilalagay ko is this one. Ayan. Dito po. Huwag niyo ako i-judge sa eyeshadow ko. <laughs> Hindi po ako makeup guru, guru, makeup junkie, or makeup lover lang po ako. So, huwag niyo ako i-judge. <laughs> Hindi po ako talaga makeup artist. These are the swatches ng eyeshadow ng Eclipse. So, masasabi ko sa formula niya, very powdery yet it is very soft. And medyo buttery yung texture niya. So, ang sarap niyang i-glide sa mata. And very pigmented as well. Nice color payoff and very blendable din. Madali naman siyang i-work out. Nice din yung color selection nila. Dalagang magagamit nyo. So, ito naman yung swatches ni Twilight. 312 na shade. So, as you can see, uh, medyo light yung color niya since pang daytime na or neutral yung shades nito. So, hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented katulad nung... Ang nakita ko namang magandang side ng palette na to is that these two shimmer shades, pwede nyo siyang gamitin pang-highlight. Magandang-magandang pang-highlight itong mga shimmer shades na to. Very subtle yet very glowy and sobrang pinong-pino yung mga sparkles or shimmers niya. So, let's proceed naman with the cream blush. I'm thinking dito na lang sa other side itong twilight cream blush and dito naman sa other side itong eclipse blush. So, let's start muna dito sa twilight na blush. Okay. So, guys, ayun, nakikita nyo ba? Medyo mamantika yung formula niya. Very glossy po. Ayan. So, medyo nakakatakot to kapag naarawan. Baka matunaw. Hopefully not. Pero very glossy po talaga siya. Para kang nagsaswatch ng butter na mas mamantika pa. Na parang matutunaw na. Ganun po yung texture niya. So, ito po yung color payoff niya. Ayan po siya. So, as you can see, dito po sa palette, very orange siya. Pero dito naman sa hands ko, very light naman yung color niya. Hindi naman ganun ka-bright po. Katulad nung nasa palette. So, hindi naman siya ganun nakakatakot ilagay sa cheeks. So, try na natin siyang ilagay sa cheeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Madali po siyang i-blend. Ayan po yung itsura ng twilight na cream blush. Medyo siguro sa mga may skin type na oily, baka hindi nyo siya magustuhan kasi baka magmas mantika yung pisingin nyo kung oily na kayo. Pero kung dry naman kayo, maka magustuhan nyo to. Kung oily kayo and gusto nyo pa rin tong bilen, might as well, pagkagamit nyo nito, pagkablend nyo ganyan, Iset nyo siya with a powder para mawala po yung pagiging oily niya. Pero as you blend it out naman, nawawala naman yung pagiging sticky niya or pagiging glossy niya. So, doon naman tayo sa Eclipse na blush. Ayan. Try natin siya sa cheeks. Medyo reddish naman yung tone nito or mas cool yung tone niya. difference ba? Oo, mas light to tingnan kesa dito. Mas uh, dark tong tingnan kumpara dito. Mas bright to. So, nagdagan ko lang po. What I like about this is sobrang dali niya pong i-blend. Like, isang tap-tap mo lang ganyan. Okay, na-blended na siya. Anyway, gamitin ko tong si Eclipse sa aking lips. Pagdating sa lips, hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented. 
parang nag lip balm. Yun, yun yung perfect description sa kanya. Para ka lang nag lip balm. Kasi very super balm ni siya. Twilight. Eclipse. So, let's proceed naman dito sa Starlight Eyes. Sobrang hated ako dito kasi ang lakas maka-international ng product na to. Parang ginaya niya yung sa Stella. Open na Oh! Ang ganda ng packaging! Sobrang nice! This is in the shade Cassiopeia. Ooh! This is what the wand looks like. Sakto lang yung kanyang formula. Ayan po. si Cassiopeia. Oh, ang ganda! We have Linux. Not sure for the correct pronunciation. Ayan po si Linux. Ah, ang nice din niya. Sobrang nice. And shimmery nila. Wala siyang chunky glitters, which is I super, super appreciate. That's Linux. And lastly is Pegasus. Ayan. Ooh, sobrang perfect nito for night out or kung meron kang kaate ng prom. Ang nice. Sobrang pigmented nilang lahat. Pegasus, Cassiopeia, and Linux. Ang ganda nitong dalawa. Ito yung super super bet ko kasi hindi ako masyado ma night time eh. As in ito, parang fairy tale of my dreams. Lastly for the eyes, we have an eyeliner. The first shade is the Falling Star and Black Magic. Hindi rin po ako marunong mag-eyeliner and tignan natin kung user-friendly tong product ni Andrea Brillantes. Ayan po yung itsura ng packaging. So we have black and we have brown eyeliner. For the black one or the black magic, yung other end niya is a teardrop or pwede mong gamitin guide or pang cut eye. Sa brown eyeliner naman, eh, Star! Ayan, sobrang excited akong itry tong star. Gusto kong maglagay ng star agad-agad using this one from Falling Star. Okay, dito. Oh! <laughs> Ang nice! Ito pa, ito pa. Oh! Oh my God! Super bit. Touch muna natin. Ito po yung Black Magic. Ito yung swatches niya. Oh! Very opaque po yung color niya. Kitang-kita nyo po yung pagka-black. Try naman natin yung brown. Oh, nice din. So, ayan na po yung dalawang color. Magic Black and Falling Star po yung brown. Okay. So far, so good. Guys, beginner friendly siya! Nagawa ko! Oh my god! <laughs> so, this is with eyeliner black and this is without. Gusto ko rin to. Ano ba yan? May ayaw ba ako sa collection na to, Janica? <laughs> Hindi porkit padala to, ha? Hindi guys, maganda kasi talaga siya. Ayan, o. To think na sobrang mura niya lang. And next naman is... <laughs> Very, very excited for this one. This is the Stardust Palette. So, meron tong tatlong shades ng highlighter. And, ang ganda ng packaging. Sobra. So, this has 10 grams of product. Ah, ito na yung highlighter, guys. So, we have three colors. So, swatch ko muna tong shade na to. Itong white color na very iridescent pearly yung color. Guys, ganito po yung color payoff niya sa hands ko. And parang meron siyang uh, holographic color. Oh, ang nice. Try ko naman tong middle shade. Yung bronzy. Oh. Nice. Pwede po siyang pang any skin tone ito. And then, this one is parang rose gold or peachy color. Ayan naman yung kanyang swatch. Ayan po yung swatches. 
iridescent, yung middle color, and yung peachy one. Anyway, dito na lang muna. Ah! Oh! Oh! Holy shit! Ibrahim natin. Ayan. Dahan-dahan lang. Masyadong mag huwag masyadong pong ma-excite kasi intense po siya. Intense. Wait lang. Patungan natin itong pink na color. May bago na akong favorite na highlight. Ako ipatawarin nyo pero gandang-ganda po ako sa highlighter nila. Sobrang panalo nito, itong color na to. Meron siyang parang holographic effect. Nice. So next naman, let's proceed. So for their lip products, they have three variants. First one is the Stellar Satin Lip. So so this is the Stellar Satin Lips. It has four shades. So here are the actual packaging. For the Stellar Satin Lips, we have Juliet, Phoebe, Titania, and Calypso. This is watch ko siya sa lips ko, guys. Para makita nyo at makapili ko yung ano ba yung shade na gusto nyo. Juliet, hindi ko siya ganun kabet kasi para kang may sakit. <laughs> anyway, sa mga puti, babagay naman to. Pero medyo patchy din po kasi yung itsura niya. Though it's very buttery, lightweight, and very creamy. Since sa atin niya yung type of lipstick. Pero medyo patchy po siya. And nagsettle siya sa lights ko. So yun yung medyo hindi ko gusto dito. For this shade, same thoughts with the first one, which is Juliet. Hindi ko rin siya ganun kabit dahil medyo light yun siya. Pero I think perfect to if magkikreate ka ng gradient lips na talaga mo ng dark yun shade dito sa inner part ng lips. And yun nga, magsisettle talaga siya sa lines ng lips. color. Kailangan mo muna siyang i-swipe ng paulit-ulit para makuha mo yung desired na shade mo. This one. Nice. Pang everyday. And then, I really like very girly yung color niya. Very perfect kapag may date ka. Ganun. Okay, so for another batch of lipstick, we have Majestic Matte Lipstick. So, this is what the packaging looks like. Compared dun sa stellar sa atin, as you can see, mas bold yung colors nito. Let's try them out. para ka magbebenta ng pongkan. I really like this. Ito yung mga klase ng lipstick na masarap isuot. Ito lang siya. So, okay lang mag apply ng mag apply As long as it's very comfortable sa lips. Perfect for date night to make a statement. 
I'm not a fan of the shade. Obviously, hindi ko siya magagamit. Pero, if meron kayong costume party at alien ka, pwede. O kaya dugong ka. <laughs> Ayan. gamit talaga unless meron akong event costume party Halloween party pero sobrang ganda ng formula sobrang pigmented comfortable sa lips very creamy and very affordable nice one so dito na tayo sa last part ng ating review we have the cloud tint ito naman lip tint siya na pwede for your eyes lips and cheeks this has 3.5 grams of product we have 6 shades of the lip tint so as you can see yung shades niya para siyang MLBB and merong mga bright colors so it's a swatch and ita try on din natin sila lahat so first this is 101 gel And this one, Veil is very bright and opaque. Very pigmented as well. Next, we have Haze. Ito naman, meron siyang peachy color. So for this, hindi siya parang lip tint. Para po siyang liquid lipstick. And you can definitely feel na meron kang something sa lips mo. So hindi siya cloud tint. Kasi pag sinabi mong cloud tint, parang Ulap, magaan, lightweight, pero mabigat, merong, hindi naman sobrang bigat, pero may mararamdaman ka talaga na may something sa lips mo. Kasi para siyang liquid lipstick. Next, we have mist. So, ito naman, parang katulad siya ng haze, pero mas uh, deeper yung tone niya. Cosmic. Ito naman para na siyang Barbie Pink. Very bright. Almost neon na rin yung kulay niya. Neon Pink. Next shade is Cloak or Clock. Not sure for the correct pronunciation. But this is a deeper kind of red. Pero mas bright pa rin eh. Nagsisigawan din tong kulay na to. And lastly is Nebula. This reminds me of the mist shade. Pero mas lighter. And mas peachy yung color niya. And Ang bango niya. Parang ang sarap niyang kainin. Ayan. This one is really wearable. Ang lakas makabagets ng color na to. And makafresh. My final verdict. Ito yung mga product na nagustuhan ko. Let's start muna with this palette. This is the Stardust palette. Sobrang ganda niya. Lalo na tong white na color. Sobrang bet na bet ko yung highlight. As you can see. Sobrang ganda and sobrang mural pa niya. So, sobrang sulit dito guys. You have three highlighters na pwede yung pang eyes, highlight, and pang eyeshadow. Sobrang nice. And next naman is pang kilay. Specifically in the shade graphite. Sobrang bet ko to. At least you have a trio product. May powder, may mascara, and a pencil. Sobrang nice. So next naman are these two eyeliner. Sobrang ganda. Sobrang dali gamitin. Considering na sobrang beginner ako when it comes to eyeliner. And sobrang bet ko tong mga stars na to with this one. So highly, highly recommend. Nagustuhan ko tong dalawa. And then for the lipstick, Cellar Stain, gusto gusto ko to. This is in the shade 124 Calypso. Sobrang ganda niya sa lips and very perfect for any skin tone. Next one naman for Stellar uh, Satin as well is yung shade na Titania. So yan, bet na bet ko rin tong color na to. And for the Cloud 
din. Ang gustong gusto ko is si Cloak 105 and Mist. Itong dalawang shade na to, very MLBB. Pwedeng pang check sa eyes and sa lips. Very multi-purpose. Majestic matte. Gustong gusto ko rin tong si Kelvin. Para ka lang nagbibenta ng pawn can. Pag gusto mo ng peachy at pag nauso ulit yung look na to, this is very perfect. As well as itong si Phoenix. So, perfect kapag may date ka at kapag may gusto kang paghigantihan. Ayan. Suotin mo to. Maganda yan. And also, this one. Gusto, gusto ko rin tong which is yung suot ko ngayon. This is in the shade Vixen. So, yeah guys. That is it for our first impression review and swatches of the newest collection of Blind Cosmetics which is the Hyper Cosmic Collection. So, congrats Andrea Brillantes. Congrats Caroline. You did a really great job. Sobrang ganda rin ng mga products. May mga ilan nga lang na hindi ako nagustuhan pero depende naman yan sa preference ng bawat tao. So nga pala guys, meron tayong pa giveaway. So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow me on Instagram at Janica Season. And pag nagawa nyo na yung tatlong bagay na yun, all you have to do is comment your IG username down below. And on August 31 po ako mamimili ng mananalo. So we have two winners po. So para sa mananalo, meron tayong dalawang set ng giveaway. First one is this face palette. Eyebrow Trio, meron din tayong Majestic Matte, Stellar Satin, Starlight Eyes, and Cloud Fit. Sa second winner naman, we also have a face palette, Eyebrow Trio, Majestic Matte, Stellar Satin, and dalawang Cloud Fit. So that is it guys! Please, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button below para may notify ka tuwing may bago akong video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching! Till our next vlog. Bye-bye!